gut, wenn es los ist, gut für die Do you know that um, Our Lady presents herself in many different ways? I'm sure that you've heard of Our Lady of Lourdes, Our Lady of Guadeloupe, Our Lady of Fatima. And it should not be confusing because it's the same lady, but she appears in different places and has specific messages. And she appears for specific people. Our Lady presents herself now also as the Immaculate Heart. Immaculate Heart. A combination of those two words, Immaculate Heart, it means a lot. Our Lady is trying to get through with a message. Remember when in the past we had devotion to the Sacred Heart where St. Margaret Mary of Alacoque of France received specific messages and Jesus is presented pointing to his heart and now Mary comes and she says consecrate yourself to my immaculate heart. Well, now that's a mouthful, and it may, you may wonder what it is that, what is she saying? Consecrate yourself to my immaculate heart. If she's a person, why doesn't she say, consecrate yourself to me? Well, in a way she's saying that, but she's placing the emphasis upon her immaculate heart. She's showing us the vehicle through which we are to work, to come to her immaculate heart. Consecrate yourself. Just let's begin right there. I know that if you have not heard of Our Lady and you wonder why there are so many people who are giving her so much attention, it may seem that they might as well move on to another subject in this video because it's not doing anything for me. But I'll tell you one thing. For the fact that Mary is in our midst and more than just allegedly, she has been uh, greeted and approved by way of her apparitions by the Church as such in its infallible pronouncements. The Church has made us know and made it known to us that, yes, she did appear at Lourdes. Yes, there are miracles at Lourdes. Yes, she did appear at Fatima. Yes, she has a specific message. Yes, she did appear at La Salette. Yes, yes, yes. Meaning, therefore, the Church is saying, yes, listen to her, listen to her. And there are many, many messages coming forth now that the Church has not had the opportunity. Some of them are being investigated, but the Church has not had the opportunity to say, yes, we have investigated, the apparitions are done, and it's for real. But on the other hand, here, for example, at Medjugorje, and we don't even have to go there, but we can go there, because for many, many years Our Lady has come and given specific messages, and the greatest of which is a message which she gave at Fatima. Immaculate Heart, I am the Immaculate Heart, and now consecrate yourself to my Immaculate Heart. Why? Because she is the Mediatrix of Graces. She is a co-redemptrix. It's coming to that by way of even a pronouncement from the Holy Father in due time. Because Jesus has given her to us, to you and to me. And now she is the one who is able to obtain for us in her motherly way, listen, being the son that it was within her womb. Her son is the son of God. And he was within her. She conceived him. She bore him. She brought him into life. So to him, she's very special. And we are very special to Jesus. You and I and all of us. He paid the price of his blood for us. And so he gave us Our Lady. Because I'll tell you why. Heaven has had a meeting. And the Father, Jesus, and the Spirit says, well, we've done everything. There's nothing else we can do. And Jesus, humanly speaking, puts up his hand and he says, 
let's send her. She's one of them, and I gave her to them. And they've done this because of the knowledge that is theirs, that the bond between the child and the mother is the greatest bond known to mankind, known to all creatures. So now Mary comes, and what is she saying? Hey, clean up your act. Change your life. Stop being so self-centered. Turn to my son. Do some penance. Don't look just for comfort. Don't look just for knowledge. Turn to my son. I will help you. But I want you to consecrate yourself to me, to my Immaculate Heart. Well, there we are back there again, consecrate. What does that mean? Make sacred. Make sacred. Consecrate. And in ordinary terminology, it's what? I'm yours, Mary. I give myself to you. I'm yours. I'm your child. And you're my mother. Protect me. Do what me whatever you choose and do for me whatever I need. That's it, that consecration. But living the consecration, how do you live that? It's a way of life where within yourself there's always a consciousness that Mary is to be by God's design a part of the life of every one of us. She's a bridge. You say, well, I go to Jesus directly. I don't need Mary. Well, all right. But listen, if Jesus gave her to us, he gave her to you as he gave her to me. It's got to be a reason. He knows that the Father and the Spirit are in concurrence with what she's doing. They have commissioned her to come into our midst to get us ready to meet God to get us ready for the purification, to get us ready during these end times. And she puts it very simply, come and I will help you. I'm your mother. I'm concerned for you. And here's what I want you to do. Pray the rosary. Pray it. Don't just say it. Say those words from your heart. Our Father who art in heaven. And you've got to do penance. Even Jesus told us that. I heard him say it. Unless you do penance, you cannot enter the kingdom. Penance is not easy, but it's something that we have to do to take the inconvenience in our life and say, all right, do it. To take the hardship of, hardships of life and say, well, okay. And the consecration is that I bond myself to her. It's by Jesus' design. It's by the Father's design. It's by the Holy Spirit's design that I bond myself to her and listen to her. She's leading every one of us, if we allow her to, directly to her Son. And the Son takes us directly to the Father. And so we accomplish, we make the circle. God created me, and now through Jesus, because being prompted by Mary, I go back to the Father. That's living the consecration, that I put myself before the Father, say, Father, whatever your will is, okay, I'll do it. And Mary is concerned to the degree that there's a lot of tears being shed through statues. How could a statue shed tears? But it's a lesson that Our Lady has given to us. Look, you're not listening to me. Listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. And what else could she do in my own life? When my mother started crying, hey, that was the limit. We did what she wanted. But Our Lady's shedding tears of blood, authentically, that have been tested out, tears of blood because of the sadness that is hers, because she pleads, she reaches out, she makes it easy for us to turn away from self and to turn to her son. She gives us the specifications. So, 
The thing to do is, all right, lady, all right, okay, I'll do it, all right. You see what it takes to take her seriously. Never mind the spectacular, never mind running here, running there, wherever you hear that she's appearing. That's not always for you. The messages of fasting, doing penance, receiving the sacrament of reconciliation, converting to Jesus, consecrating yourself to her, praying the rosary, that's it. It's not anything impossible, it's something that we can do. And I'll tell you, if you make an effort to live according to that consecration, you'll be happier for it. And many of your other problems will disappear.